I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But I'll be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this vlog. Incidentally, it's the first one in which we're actually doing it with my brand new camera, i.e. the Sony ZV-1. And well, here we are on our boat. Um, we've had one or two little mishaps when we were coming out of the mooring. Uh, basically, we've left behind the fender which snapped off. And also, dunk. It's just a tad bit soggy, really. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah. Anyway, we're um, we're on the we're on the move. We're on the River Bure, destination Potter Iam, and uh, yeah, we're going to try and enjoy ourselves as best as possible. Bear in mind what's happened. To be fair, it's been several weeks since we since we were out on the boat. So you know it's. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we are going to need to work on oh, getting out of the boring. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I hope, hope everything's going all right with the new camera. Very exciting stuff, of course. Um, yeah. Yes. So, this is us now on the River Thurn. That's dog just there, still drying off. Um, yeah, I just kind of look, look, look back as we were coming out of the ball, and all of a sudden his, his legs are dangling over the edge. Um, anyway, there are quite a few, quite a few sailing boats along here, but thankfully the majority of them seem to, or look like they're not going to be too much of a problem. Which, of course, is always what we want. Now it'll be interesting, it'll be interesting to, to know what the audio will be like on this, because um, with camcord it's like they picked up a heck of a lot of the engine noise, so it'll be interesting to see whether or not this camera actually kind of filters it out a bit more and prioritises my or, or our voices. Um, oh yeah, Doug's just down there, having himself a so, tea or coffee you got? Coffee. Coffee. Nice cup of coffee. Yeah. Help you dry off a bit. <laughs> just looking over there at all them sails and whatnot. Just hoping that they're not on this river. Oh they are. Further up. Oh. Got one there that's just about to come round the bend. But yeah. Oh well. Ooh. Fishermen are going to be happy, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to come into them because that looks like they're on the river. Because there isn't any other offshoot off here, is there? No, but well, I mean, there's one off to the left. Oh, but... this fella's goose wing. Oh, no, he isn't. <laughs> there we go. Flipping neck. Oh, that's a joy. Gonna be fun. Right, well, here we are in Potterheim. Um, as it turned out, all of those sailing boats that we saw were actually on the river. And that was, uh, we reckon that quite a few of them were actually being used for like sailing courses. However, there's one of them where the instructor was at the helm. And 
they were just going all over the place and do, doing really wide tacks and so they were doing really really short zigzags um, and we also just had to kind of sit in reverse for a bit wait for them to so I don't know what was going on there but that was the instructor at the helm jeez anyway all the sailing boats are behind us but we'll be approaching the bridge shortly hopefully by the time we turn round and we're back up there all of them sailing people will be out of the way have we uh, have we spotted Norfolk in way yet? no I've spotted Borato over there got Borato but we well, haven't seen Norfolk in way yet Norfolk in way I've got a feeling that it's up this bit yeah yeah, I'll tell you what's really handy about this camera and its stand um, sure. is the fact that you can like put out the little legs and then just, I can just sit it on the hatch and that's it's really really good because previously I'd just have to actually like rest the camcorder on there but now I've actually got a proper pucker stand and I can adjust the angle and everything it's great. Yeah, and that's probably stability is a lot better. Yeah, yeah maybe if I'll shake it around then well, it's not just that, I'm thinking because you've got a stand as well. Yeah. Well, and of course the fact that, you know, the boat vibrates a bit, so hopefully the camera will actually be getting rid of those vibrations that uh, otherwise you would normally be picking up. I don't know, this is the first time that we've actually taken it out and done a proper vlog on the boat. We've previously got a bit of footage of some ducks, one of which called Keith. Um, we had quite a bit of fun with that. That footage was tagged on the end of the unboxing video. For, all, for this camera, so pop out banner, go check that out. Um, yeah, got a bit of footage of that, but we were just, we basically just had the mud way down and we were on the broad, we didn't actually like go cruising how we are today. Not cruising up, that sounds quite sophisticated, doesn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, the floor's dro dried out, dunks starting to dry out. Um, Feet haven't. <laughs> Zed's starting to. Yeah. That's oh, alright, I'll draw it. Yeah. Couldn't believe it, it slipped or something. Oh, the bloody time should we take this flaming thing out? <laughs> of all the... And uh, no, this is the one and only... Oh, my job's a positive, it hasn't happened before now. Well, I'm glad it hasn't happened before, and I hope it doesn't happen oh, again. Oh, I hope it doesn't happen again. Yeah, it has some time to time. I mean, it, it was going to happen at some point, really, but really? let's hope that now we've got it out of the way, it won't happen That's again. It. End of. Yeah, but I've, I've fallen into the boat, but touch wood I haven't fallen into the water yet. Touch wood, definitely. Um, I mean, I only got below my knees work, so not a biggie. Yeah. I don't know how it happened, so... <laughs> obviously it's away with those things, you never know how it happens. Uh, it just a, does. Took me off the ball, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, no, it is starting to uh, oh, it's not that precipitate. Far, just, just a wee bit. Um, Actually, it's not, the camera is so good that it won't even pick up the spots of rain on the window. What about if I bring it closer to you? There you go. Oh, is it going to pick it up? This camera, this camera is so good that it won't even pick up the spots of rain. Oh. There we go, North Fucking Way. Just there. There we have it. Right, what can go for it? Facing into the rain, I think, right? Like. Uh, it should be, because the, the rain's coming across. Is it? Oh. It's changing it. Is it not coming down? Yeah. It's coming from that way, but now yeah. it's coming from that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, just looking at the flag. But looking at the wind sock. Wind sock, yeah. In the flag. That's coming this way. But no, no, the wind's coming from, coming from a direction. Okay, so you know how we said that we thought we were done with the idiots in the sailing boat or boats? Um, as it turns out, we weren't. 
that one with the stupid... He's just doing a bit of Duolingo. Um, yeah, the one with the stupid instructor in it has just gone past and we had to go into reverse as per usual and even though we gave them loads and loads of room to tag, they still almost went into us. It was still really, really close. Um, and then we had so someone else as well who was kind of like wasn't sure whether they were going to be mid-channel, whether they were going to be on our side, the other side. Um, we couldn't go starboard to starboard because there was something coming the other way, so we kind of had to go this way, but then they started going this way. So, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Nothing's ever straightforward, is it? <sighs> I'm going to have a bag of more teasers tonight. I was going to have it last night. But I think we're going to need it tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Have you got any wine, mate? No, I, uh, I don't normally have to show sailing boats and make an example of them but these idiots have just come tear arsing up here and force and bearing in mind that there were two higher craft on this side one trying to overtake the other and it's just like the river is a point of them I don't know what they're doing and now they've slowed down the idiots honestly I mean I've I don't think I've ever been this angry at someone on the river before and the people who are sailing are normally the sensible ones it's normally the the um motor cruisers that have been hired that you could worry about but this is this is a private sailor boat Jesus yeah they've slowed right down now idiots okay so just what I thought it couldn't get any worse with that idiot who I showed you who came tear us up in front of us and then slowed down guess what he's just done the exact same to a hire craft that was in front of us he's done the exact same he goes over he, and then he was actually pushing the hire craft into the reeds and then just slowed down so much that then we ended up behind him in no time so then we had to slow down Jesus! They're, they're a bully I mean I, I get how it gives way to sail and all that I know that but so do they and they are abusing that they're not just using it they're abusing it they're bullying people on the river they were even bullying other sailing boats and there was another one where I had to put the hammer down to try and get past because people have got the course or whatever they were tacking across and um, you know, I, I had to put the hammer down and then it, it was just kind of a bit of uncertainty what oh, blood pressure's through the roof <laughs> <laughs> oh right well anyway that stupid sailing boat's way up ahead um, the higher craft has gone the other way down the river down, yeah down the river view we're going up here back towards the mooring because I'm stressed. Who's going to come and take you past you anyway, whether you like it or not? Because he goes faster than this. I mean, the speed he was going, flipping out, he, he, gets going going fast. he didn't have much of a choice, he had to get past you. And then he just decided to slow down, that, that bit pee I us off. That's true, that, that bit he, I don't understand. And then speed up again, yeah, push someone into the, the reeds. You didn't see that bit, they all sort of run laughing. It's incredibly annoying. Bullies they are, they're just absolute bullies. So if you ever see a rather large sailor boat that's got a white sail, carbon fibre um, boom, there's the number E, or the code E11, E11 on, yeah, E11, um, gives them a Paddington heart step, Two bearded tossers on it, yeah. <laughs> three actually. <laughs> okay, three bearded tossers. And I did tossers. see one of them who was sat on the side deck looking back at me and looking at me like I'm in the wrong. I get that I was, I was more like mid-channel and whatnot. I get that he was going fast. I get the Pogus way to sail stuff. But you don't need to bully people. Oh, and now he's slowed down. Bugger off! Chill. Now what's the tosser doing? Look at him. Oh, he's coming this way. Tosser. Tosser, 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 tosser. Alex, Alex. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're celebrating now. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Them tosses that we were just talking about who have just come past us again. They they were leaning so far over that the boom started to dig in. And now they're stuck! They're stuck! <laughs> karma! Absolute funny. karma, that is. That is absolute I mean, I, karma. That must be like going back and just going past and laughing. Yeah. I mean, 
like, I, I don't normally like to wish that sort of stuff on people or whatever. I really don't like wishing that sort of stuff on people, but they, they just deserve it. Straight up, they deserve it. That is funny. Are they still stuck? I think they are. You can tell by the angle of the mask. No. I know what they've done. Well, they, they always when they were going along, they were leaning quite a bit. Yeah, but, yeah, but that was really healing. Yeah, yeah that was. And I, and I think what they've done is the the keel plate or the um, the keel itself, because it'll be a weighted keel underneath. They've gone over. It's not gone up. And they've gone into the shallows and it's stuck. And that, oh, that's, that's yeah. where they are. They're, they're stuck. Yeah. Oh dear. I mean, I did see it. Sort of, they're trying to ride. They're trying to get it, get it off. Oh well, justice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And now it's started raining as well, so they're going to get wet. Justice! Anyway, there we go. We're, we've had our bit of fun now. We're happy now. Yeah, happy now. Yeah, let the things back to normal. Yeah, can I, can I suggest that it might be an idea, looking at what's coming from that coming from that direction there, because it's dumping over there. Yeah. Can I suggest we get this back? Get them down. Yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's starting to rain quite a bit. I think that is going to come like First time that we've actually had to have this thing to the like, Wow. Yeah, that's the Well, you could, you could, you could see where it's, where it's where it really misty yeah. over there. That's yeah. where it's dumping. And that's coming out of this way. It's not what you could do. No. That's actually a polo shirt, isn't it? A few moments later. And here we are. Back at the mooring, I was going to film us coming in, but I forgot to basically. Um, yeah, although to be fair, I'll tell you what, the one thing that has gone right today is actually come back in. We came in so, so smoothly, it was unbelievable. Really, really was a good job there. I may or may not have nearly fallen in myself, but touch wood I didn't actually I mean I, basically I, I kicked off the off the um, post with one foot and then went to put it back on the deck but it slipped so I, I, I wasn't gonna go in I hope I never will um, yeah everything just seemed to go pretty well there um, thankfully uh, Although we haven't managed to find the fender that came off earlier, so um, if I just flip you guys round, then right up the top there, just wait for it to zoom in, right up the top there you might just about be able to see a hook, or what should be a hook, um, that's actually completely snapped off, and the fender is somewhere, god knows where. Yeah, so, don't really know where the fender's gone, which is unfortunate, because we don't think we have a spare. Um, anyway, yeah, on that note, thank you all so, so much for watching this video. Do, of course, hope that you've enjoyed, and we shall see you either next week or the week after. Bye! Okay, so we're home now, but I just very quickly want to add one last thing onto this. Um, oh, shush. Um, basically, Dunks is taking shoes and socks off, because, you know, he's still wet. Um, where do you think you're going? Anyway, and, um, and he's found a roll plug in his sock. I'm not quite sure how that's happened. And how could he not feel it? It was in your jeans. Yeah. Well, these shoes need to go for a wash as well. Well, not today, <laughs> darling. <laughs> Just put them on the front door now or something. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Bye.